Hello my foodie friends and welcome back to another edition of In the Kitchen with Karen. I am a huge lover of hummus, how about you? But sometimes I get tired of just the plain flavor or the roasted pepper, they don't have that many flavors. So I thought, what if I come up with a new twist on it? I love Thai peanut sauce and I love hummus, so what if we put those two together and made a Thai peanut hummus? So follow me and let's get cooking. So we're going to need a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. We're also going to need a one inch piece of fresh ginger root. Now I'm going to show you a simple way to peel it instead of using a knife. Just take a spoon and scrape it like this. comes off really well and now we're just gonna roughly chop this up because it's gonna go in the food processor or your blender the next thing we're gonna need is four cups of rinsed and drained garbanzo or chickpeas Now let's add our quarter cup of fresh lemon juice, a quarter cup of pure maple syrup, and now we're going to need four cloves of garlic, or I'm just using the kind that comes in the jar. We want one small handful of cilantro and a half a cup of smooth or you can use chunky peanut butter too because it's just going to get pulverized anyways. And now regular hummus uses tahini so which is a sesame paste butter so instead we're using peanut butter. So I'm adding two tablespoons of liquid aminos and this is very similar to like a low sodium soy sauce so if you can't find this you can use the low sodium soy sauce and then we're just going to use a little dash of sriracha sauce if you like it hotter you feel free to add more and now we're just going to process this until it's nice and smooth Good. It should have this consistency. And that's all there was to making it. Now, now we did make one little change that you didn't see on the video. We added the juice of one lime into it because we felt it needed a little bit more acid. Other than that, and we also added a little bit more cilantro, but like I said, you have to put that in. And now you can serve this with any kind of vegetables you like, or pita chips, or you could even make a pita sandwich with it and use it as a spread and add lettuce and tomato and what other uh, ingredients you like. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so wasn't that easy, you guys? It's very flavorful. Now, what we did find is that instead of using the lemon juice, the quarter cup of lemon juice, use lime juice because it's gonna give it a better flavor, we, th we thought, because we added some lime juice to it and it really perked it up. So instead of the lemon juice, just substitute lime juice. Other than that, it's delicious. So I'm gonna try it on a little bit of a um, toasted pita. You can taste the ginger and the garlic. And I think it has more flavor than just a regular hummus does. So I hope you guys are gonna give this a try. Let me know if you do. And don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye everybody.